Today we're featuring a 2013 Ram 1500. All right, it's got 123,000 miles on it. It's modern metallic in color. All right, it does have the Hemi 5.7 liter engine. We'll go ahead and walk around the vehicle with you. First thing we notice, just a couple little scuffs right here on the front bumper. All right, we'll make our way down the driver's side. It does have the Hemi 5.7 liter. It's got the window vents here. All right, and the first thing you notice, it's got the big toolbox uh, camper shell on the back. All right, and it is a nice one. We'll go through it all in just a second, but let's just focus on the exterior right now. All right, it's got the dual exhaust, rear backup camera. I got the tow hitch back there. It is a two-wheel drive only. All right, it's only a two-wheel drive. Small little ding in it right here. And then back here on this back bumper, just a, another little paint rub right there. All right, but it does have 123,000 miles on it, so some of this would be expected. Okay, but overall, the exterior's in good shape. Got the chrome step rails down there. It also has a little crack down here in the molding, or the uh, front bumper down here. All right, but other than that, everything's in good shape. A little rub right there. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. The black on black door panels, power locks, power windows, power mirrors. Okay, it does have the nice uh, hard plastic floor mats. Gray cloth, split bench. Okay, but the driver's seat's in good shape. All right, it does come with the keyless entry key fob. All right does have the center console that opens up got a USB port auxiliary and power outlet there okay and this does lift up to create the bench right here passenger seats in good shape all right it does have the backup camera there okay and we'll turn it on and show you all this in a second climate control area AM FM here all right and like I said, it's only a two-wheel drive. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the mileage. Okay, it's got 123,170 miles on it. All right, I'm going to show you the screen display here. All right, as well as, well as your climate control area. Okay, and it does have the backup camera. It's an aftermarket backup camera. All right, let's see right here. I'll go ahead and engage it in reverse. Here we go. All right, put it back in park. All right, let's set that back down. Let's go ahead and take a look in the back seat. AC, by the way, blowing cold. As soon as I cranked it up, you could feel it. No problems there with the air conditioner. All right, let's go ahead and take a look in the back seat. All right, door panels look good. Do have the hard plastic liner back here in the floor mats. Okay, let me walk around to the other side just to open up that passenger side door. We'll let a little bit more light get in here so you can see a little better. All right. Let's go back and take another look here. Oh yeah, that's better. All right, back seat cloths in good shape. All right, and it does have the window on the camper shell back here that you can see straight through, all the way through to back. Okay. Go ahead and give you the driver's eye view of the dash and the layout. All right, but the inside of this vehicle is in great shape. Let's see. Now there's also a converter under this front seat. Let's see, let's go ahead and open this back up. You also have the power converter back here, okay? It's a really nice feature, and I'll show you about that in a second. Got your different plug-ins back here. Okay, another converter here. Okay. And the really cool thing about this is, too, back here in the back, below the camper shell, you also have two outlets back here. And let me pull these down. That you can actually plug things into and run them from inside the truck. All right, really cool feature. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look back here at the camper shell, work shell. 
All right, these open up on the side and now they actually have the actuator here. Now, when you hit the lock button on the keyless fob, it's gonna lock up all these doors. There's no need to go through with a key and lock and unlock all these doors. When you hit the lock on the key fob, it's gonna lock everything up. All right, so let's go ahead and open up these doors for you so you can see what we're dealing with back here. All right, first of all, got a nice wooden um, handmade kind of shelving unit in here. It does flip up so you can get down into it there. And what you see wrapped up down there is the actual stock tailgate to this truck. It's also in here, okay? All right, and you can see that wooden kind of shelving that he built. All right, both sides lift up. Okay, that's a really nice feature. Everything shut down real good. Okay, now this box down here also slides right out. Okay, so you slide all your cargo, everything you need, slides out. Okay, and it is a Joey bed. Okay, made by Joey bed. All right, really cool. Slides all the way back in. All right, it does have two switches here. One to control inside lighting. Okay. One to control outside lighting. All right, so it's got all the bells and whistles, man. The guy did a really good job setting this thing up. Got your trailer plug-ins back here, tow hitch, and it's also got the two outlets that I was talking about earlier. Okay. This thing is already set up to be out on the job site, ready to work. All right, really nice you know, camper shell, work shell, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the wheels and tires. You got uh, 17 inch alloys here. All right, tires are still in really good shape. Plenty of tread there. All right, once again, it's a 2013 Dodge Ram, two wheel drive, 123,000 miles on it. Things in really good shape. Got a few scratches here and there. But for a 13 with that many miles, that's to be expected. All right, really nice work shell on the back of it. It's ready to go work right now for you. Come down, check it out. This thing's priced aggressively. It's priced accordingly. It's, it's fairly priced. Come down, check it out, take a test drive, and thank you for watching the video.